It's very normal for my alarm to go off so that I can wake up in the morning. It's very normal for me to get up, stretch, and feel that I'm okay. Today, as I'm shooting this, it's September 11, 2024. A day filled with mixed and heavy emotions. I've woken up knowing it's going to be a difficult day for me to navigate. On one hand, it's my sweet sister's birthday. The only blood and related sister that I have and I ever had. A day that should be filled with joy, laughter, and celebration. I love my sister deeply. And I would have loved to be there with her and try to make her day special as possible. But these are special. They remind us of the gift of life and the love we share. But on the other hand, Today my nephew is being laid to rest, six feet under, at the age of 35, such a young age. These two significant events happening on the same day have left me torn apart inside. Shadow over the joy, or joy over the shadow. Just an emotional turmoil. I get outside and I realize how everything is normal. Sun is up in the sky, shining bright and business as usual. I live more than 3,000 miles away from my family and the distance today feels even longer. Being far away makes everything feel more complicated and even more painful. There is a helplessness that comes with long distance. Grief and distance creates a unique kind of pain. Distance makes me feel disconnected from my family on such times. I can't mourn with them, and at the same time, I can't hug my sister on her birthday. Today is one of those days where life puts someone in a situation that feels almost impossible to manage. And what hurts the most is distance. It's as if I'm living in two worlds right now. One way I'm trying to keep my life moving and one way I'm deeply connected to my family but only from afar. I'm feeling so much overwhelmed by these mixed emotions. One, I want to celebrate my sister, 
She means so much to me, and her birthday is a reminder of how thankful I am for her. She's been my rock in so many ways, and today is a day I would usually take time to show her how much she's loved. But the joy is clouded by the deep sadness I feel. There is a strange guilt that comes with trying to celebrate my sister as I am mourning. How do I balance joy and grief? This year, in a span of nine months, have lost four close family members, two nephews, my aunt, and my grandmom, who I tried to pay her last respect just five months ago. No matter how many phone calls or texts I send, it doesn't fill the gap of being there physically. The distance feels like a wall between me and the people I care most about. I'm just feeling helpless and disconnected. The questions running through my mind today, I don't have clear answers. How do I honor them both? All I know is that both emotions are real, and I have to let myself feel them both, even if it's confusing. Today is not about choosing one emotion over the other. It's not about forcing myself to be happy for my sister, or completely giving it to the sadness of losing someone. Instead, today is about holding space for both of them. They are both valid, and they both deserve my attention. One thing I remind myself today is, it's okay not to have everything figured out. It's okay to feel confused and emotional, to feel both joy and sorrow at the same time. Life sometimes gets messy, and today is a perfect example of how complicated my emotions are.
it's funny and sad at the same time how we hide our side emotions while we are completely dying inside. My inner me is screaming, but I have to put on a mask, a facade, pretending how everything is okay and normal. Though I'm far away, I'm still connected to my family in spirit. I may not be able to be with them physically, but my heart is with them. I know they are feeling the same mixed emotions that I am feeling, and in that there is sense of shared experience, regardless the distance. Especially for my sister, who should be celebrating her birthday today and still mourn. As I move through today, I'll do my best to honor both. Sometimes I wonder, if my future was to be put in a film, would I really watch it? If I was asked the same question a month ago, most likely, I could have sprinted and jumped to the couch to watch it. Eager to see how colorful, beautiful, and joyful my future will be. But uh, my answer is of now. Is no. Because of the few of unknown and the mixed emotions that I have today. The few of leaving the ones that I love behind. Who will love them and take care of them the way I do, no matter how little? Would they maybe one day wish I was there? Maybe I could have figured out the problem or maybe solved it for them. It's just sad how we don't talk about grief. How it lingers and how it changes our lives. As we grow older, grief becomes a more constant pain in our lives. It's something we eventually face and it's universal. Yet there is an unspoken expectation that grief is something to be dealt with quietly, privately, and with enough time, it will simply fade away. But the truth is, grief doesn't fade. It just changes shape and often becomes heavier as we age. When we were young, grief might seem like a distant concept, but as the years pass, it comes closer, touching our lives in more intimate and painful ways. The older we get, the more we find ourselves standing on the edge of loss, looking back at life we once knew, filled with people who are no longer there. One of the hardest parts about aging is the way grief starts to build up. Each loss adds another layer, another weight to carry. And yet, the conversation about grief remains rare. The silence and pain surrounding grief is universal, and the fear of being a burden to someone who's experienced grief as well is the common factor. And also, acknowledging that life is finite, and no one will be here forever. There is a societal pressure to be strong and to keep moving. And that by a certain age, we are expected to have developed a thick skin. Thick skin enough to cope with the loss. Life gets back to normal so fast, so fast. Just like the coffee that I've just had, it has activated my digestive system. And as normal, I'll take my device and do my private business with it. I 
Our phones they've turned to be people. As long as I have mine with me. I know how everyone is. I'll send my sister love and good wishes from afar. This year, I got my sister a gift, a birthday gift. In the way she responded, it left me with so, so, so much love for her. My lovely sister, if you watch this, just know I love you so much. You are loved. As I'm washing my hands, I've just remembered early 2020. World Health Organization was telling us to wash our hands as we sing a happy birthday song. And yes, today I have a reason to sing. I'll try to be happy because I'm celebrating a life that's so dear to me. It's a struggle to journal down my emotions today. Life is full of moments like this, where joy and sadness coexist. And today I'll embrace them both as best as I can. Today it will be hard, but I'll face it with an open heart, ready to honor the life that we've lost and to continue to celebrate the ones that we have. The more I think about it, the more it doesn't make sense, and the more sense it makes at the same time, if that makes sense. Through it all, there is still love. And love is the thread that ties all of us together. <laughs>